The relationship formed through an approach made by Land Rover BAR to us. They were looking to engage with motorsport companies, particularly in the UK, to understand what innovative technologies we could use. First and foremost, we're here to win the Cup. So Britain lost the, the first America's Cup. We've never won it since, despite several attempts. Uh, but as well as that, we're trying to create a sustainable, long-term, diversified business that reignites the British marine industry. But lastly, we want to inspire the next generation, both in terms of getting into the sport of sailing, but also into the discipline of engineering, in particular the marine engineering industry. We're very passionate about the STEM agenda, and we're working with the 1851 Trust and local schools to try and encourage that. The initial challenge was to produce a control system for the foils that enable the boat to fly out of the water. I think we were able to succeed because we're used to applying the skills and knowledge we've gained in the motorsport industry in a lot of other industries anyway and we've developed a lot of unique capabilities over the years that were directly applicable in this instance. When I've changed jobs between sectors, whether it's I went from Formula One to road cars and you know coming now from a car background into a sailing background, there's always things that one company is doing better than another company or one sector is doing better than another sector. For us it's been a unique challenge in terms of the scale of the vehicle we're working with. Ten times bigger than the vehicles we're used to working on but the technology and the engineering still applies in the same way. Also, working with a sailing team as opposed to just one driver has been a unique experience. So you have a team that's almost as powerful or as powerful as the engineering team with its own opinions and its own uh, say-so in how the team has operated and that's been a strong piece of learning for us. The difficult bit for me is I'm not from a fluid dynamics background and obviously a boat is, is far more about fluid dynamics than a car. I'm just uh, taking a back seat on that and just let the experts that, that work with me and for me lead that bit and I'll just try and fill in the bits that I'm I'm strong in. It's without a doubt challenging and one of the most challenging things I've done in my career uh, but it comes with its own rewards and it's really satisfying to see the boat sailing and to see the, say, the feedback from the sailors as they try out the systems on the boat. The project is still very much alive and ongoing. The nature of the project is changing now as we get closer to the America's Cup. At the beginning it was very much about innovation and introducing those new systems. It's now moving into a development phase as we refine and perfect those technologies ready for the cup. I think horizontal innovation is a fantastic opportunity for companies to work together and to find new ways to innovate. And just because ideas exist in one sphere, applying them to a new sphere is still an innovation in my mind. And given that the know-how, the technology already exists, it should be a low cost way in order to achieve that innovation. I think the IET's Horizontal Innovation Initiative is a fantastic idea. It's exactly what we're trying to do, bridging the gap between sailing and the motorsport world. And there's bound to be other areas where it can work as well.